so killed as they walked home from night out. It's absolutely tragic. Two 19-year-old students, uh, you can see them on the, on the cover there, uh, with their whole lives ahead of them. And a man in his 50s, also obviously still uh, tragic, were stabbed to death. And a further three people were injured when a stolen van was driven into them in an early morning rampage across Nottingham. Uh, so police have arrested the, the driver and the you know, alleged stabber, attacker, whatever you want to call him, but are keeping an open mind on the motive. And the university has cancelled the graduation ball uh, because the, the two, two students were, were among the dead. But I mean, so soon after the, the stabbing in France, I mean, this has to raise questions. Even if it's not, um, they're, they're saying that there's, there's no evidence of it being connected to any you know, organised terror group or ideology or anything like that. I mean, just the fact that he's, he's, so he's, uh, he's from West Africa, he's got a history of violence. I mean, the fact that we have uh, pretty porous borders and people can come in from failed states and from you know, places where, where people uh, routinely uh, use violence in a way that you, you don't in, in, in a Western liberal democracy. Uh, it really suggests to me that this, this could be a, a failing of our, of our border policy. I mean, I think it's quite interesting that there has been a spate of these attacks in different places. And like you said, I've been questioning, is there some kind of internet board somewhere. You know how people like this, they sort of congregate on like 4chan and, or, or, or they used to. I don't know if it still works and things like that. Um, I wonder if something has happened in these internet forums, like some kind of call to arms has come out and we're seeing sort of the result of that now. But this is me wildly speculating. I really don't know yeah, anything I mean, there about really the is situation. No motive yet. And as we heard on the news before, the counter-terrorist police have now left the... Uh, left the investigation yeah. and it's gone to the normal police force. Uh, but I don't think it has to be uh, motivated by, say, for example, uh, Islamic extremism uh, for it to, to still be an issue with our borders. I mean, well, what, what checks were carried out? You know, how, how, did, the, how did this man get into the country? Uh, you know, what's, what's his background? How, it, why was he here? I mean, it is an interesting question, you know, sort of when you ask, want people to come across, you, you're looking for skilled migrants mainly, you know, you want people to contribute to society and I suppose is one of the things that are they asked are you asked about what your mental health history is are you asked about things like that i don't know hmm. and I, well, think I imagine you are but the question we just we don't know anything yet really we can't speculate beyond to say that if it seems unlikely that's a terrorist attack certainly the taking place at that time of morning is like an unusual time for these kind of events to happen yep. but uh, the one thing that we can say of course is um incredible Commiserations to the family and friends and loved ones, and uh, just two. And we we don't know the identity of the uh, of the fifty year old man in the van, but just two very beautiful young people and are mm. dead. And we then need to, uh, need to ask questions about why afterwards. Yep. Absolutely.